guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 21 of the My Player series here on Xbox One, and we have two huge games today. So we go into the calendar, you can see we're coming up to transfer deadline day, of course we can't move as we're on loan, but the very next day, February the 1st, we have West Ham away in the FA Cup. A massive game for us at League One Sheffield United, and then literally just... Three days later, we've got the second leg of the Johnson's Paint Trophy area final against Brentford. 3-0 up from the first leg, so looking very, very good in that particular uh, fixture. But the game against West Ham is absolutely huge. A fantastic uh, you know, platform to, uh, to portray our talents, show uh, our... Um, parent club Chelsea, how we've been progressing throughout the season. We've already scored 24 goals and got 9 assists in our career so far. We've reached the goals and assists tally already as the objectives for this season as a whole and we're not even out of the January transfer window yet. So we're going very, very well indeed. Now if you missed the previous episode, then there is a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your picture. Feel free to check that out if you missed it from Thursday night before watching this one. And then of course... If uh, you missed any of the AC Milan career mode content throughout the week, of course that comes to you every single weekday. And uh, feel free to, uh, to check the tunnel page as well. And of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the content on every single day. We do nine videos a week here on Chesnoy Gaming. So uh, there's plenty of stuff to get your teeth stuck into. But let's get our teeth stuck into this West Ham game. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in a sec when we actually jump into the game. Okay, before we even get a chance to get to the game, we've uh, we've come up with uh, the little upcoming targets thing. We've met the targets in two of the four objectives they want us to do. Of course, as you can see on your screen, we've uh, got the assists and the goals. They were one of each. We got one assist and two goals. Really, uh, the 8.7 minimum rating was a bit... Uh, a bit too much for us to uh, to even come anywhere close to. It was a bit over uh, over ambitious from the manager, so we say. But uh, we also unfortunately weren't able to uh, to maintain a goal conversion rate at 24%, only 15%. But as you can see, only three goals in the four games, and uh, we got two of those. So you know, can't complain too much. You know, we did quite well. But uh, let's push on into this West Ham game, unless it's going to come up with another let of uh, a lot. Another set of objectives for me, but no, it's not. It's transfer deadline day. Nothing can happen. We have no influence on this whatsoever. So uh, this time, we will get into that West Ham game. Kevin Nolan brings it down on the edge of the box. West Ham appear to be starting a very, very strong side against us in this one. So it kind of, it's kind of almost flattering the fact that they feel the need to, to, uh, to put out a first team to, uh, to take us on in this game. Of course, we've been doing very, very well in League One. So uh, it's right of them to be a little bit wary. Because we do definitely pose some threats, especially with uh, ourselves up top. Try and find Billy Painter here. Unfortunately, the uh, the ball's been broken away by Nocherino. West Ham on the counter-attack. Carroll, Nocherino into Nolan again. What can Kevin do here? Turn back inside, looking for Matty Jarvis. Acrobatic clearance, and away we go. Oh, I hate that my reactions are so slow on this as well with my guy. Go on, win that. Challenge. He's McGinn. He's had a crack. Ooh, that wasn't far away. Catching him on the counter-attack. That's our first effort on target. Not on target, on goal. It was off target, but still a decent attempt. McGinn there, not bad on his left foot across the goal. Not too far wide, just to uh, a half a yard or so. Who have they got in goal? Who is it? Go on, stand up so I can see you. Oh, I can't see who it is. I think it's Adrian. It is Adrian. So uh, definitely a top quality goalkeeper to try and beat. So we go at half-time at 0-0. Winston Reid has had me in his pocket all game long. I've not really been able to influence the uh, the proceedings so far too much, but uh, hopefully we can uh, maintain a good, solid defensive performance that we have done in the first half, and maybe even take this to a replay if we can't if we can't touch wood. Maybe even get a win. Stuart Downing on the edge of the box. Don't let him get on his left foot, lads. Or oh, Kevin Nolan's in. Hit the post. That's the closest either side have come so far to a goal. We could break here as well. Billy Painter, if he doesn't hold the ball up too much. I'm going to make a run into this area here. I've called for it, but I'm not going to get it. That is the closest either side has come so far. Kevin Nolan with a great strike off the post. And it looks like they're going to make a substitution. In fact, we're making two substitutions. Jose Baxter and Big Jeff coming on for McGinn and Billy Painter. So we've got a new strike partner up top. Maybe maybe Big Jeff can uh, prove to, uh, to be the, the one change that makes the difference in this game. Go on, Brayford. Go on, son. He's found us. We brought it down. Great save. Oh, so close. We can't quite force it over the line. What a save by Adrian. Brought that down beautifully on the chest. Who's that? Andy Carroll's in behind. Not good on his left foot. On his left foot. Just stand him up and force him wide. 
I don't like this at all. Just get rid. Carroll. And away we go. Hopefully. Although Stuart Downing. Kevin Nolan's already hit the post once. Doing defensive duties. It's dropped to Andy Carroll. It's dropped back to Nolan. Oh, we're 1-0 down. I put the extra effort in to come back. And uh, I do my defensive stuff. And unfortunately, that is what results in West Ham taking the lead in this game. That's so, so unlucky. I was really... Oh, I'm just really frustrated that it's me putting the extra effort in and coming back and perhaps getting involved where I shouldn't have but feeling like I needed to in a situation like that that's actually cost us the lead in this game. Pinged it out left, here's Murphy. He's got a man on the outside of him, it's Harris. I'm going to call for it in here. It's coming to Big Jeff, he has the header. Well saved by Adrian. I tried to follow it up, but I couldn't quite read which way it was going to go. Chances have gone yet though, here's Big Jeff. Flicks it on, oh, and they're going to get a ball clear. No, they haven't. Come on, play me. Over the top, Flynn. Here's Big Jeff. I don't know what that noise was, by the way, but... I'm getting a little bit overexcited considering there's not long left and we're still 1-0 down and we can't get any proper chance on goal for ourselves. If anyone, Surely if anyone's going to have the opportunity or have the ability to get us back in this game, it's going to be me, but not doing things like that. Oh, not good enough. And on comes Marco Borriello for Andy Carroll. Flynn. Breaking down the right side. The cross comes in. Chance. I miss the header. I miss the header. Here's Flynn. Has the shot. Great save by Adrian down low. Stoppage time at the end of the second half. We have a chance. We have a corner. Can we force a replay? Oh, I can't believe I missed that header. In comes the cross. It's coming our way. We're going to go up. We've won the header. And it's straight at the goalkeeper. That's the chance. Finesse shot trait. That's good. I want that. I'm definitely going to be putting that on for the uh, the Brentford game. This is going to be coming up next. And you'd have to presume that that uh, collection by the goalkeeper is going to bring out full time. And it has done. Unfortunately, we're going to get knocked out of the FA Cup at the, uh, the fourth round. Thanks to uh, a solid performance from West Ham. Very, very good defensively. Kept us quiet until those last couple of minutes were unfortunately... Despite having a couple of chances, we still weren't able to uh, to force the issue and get a replay. But well done, West Ham. Hopefully they can go a little bit further in the uh, in the cup. So you can see we had four efforts, 93% pass completion, but we just weren't good enough today. But we'll turn that finesse straight on, and then we'll jump straight into that Brentford game, because we've got a good lead from that first leg in the area final. OK, well, I've just come back, and this is rather unexpected. I've just been selected for the national team for friendlies against Germany and Paraguay. Uh, what is that all about? I'm in League One. I know I'm rated 75 and we've been scoring goals, but I really don't think I'm ready for international football just yet. That's, uh, yeah, wait. us and Alexander Dominguez have been called up on international duty. What is that all about? So we're 3-0 up from the first leg of this area final in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. This is literally the last game before Wembley. So if we can just... <laughs> all we've got to do is not lose by three goals and uh, and we'll be through. Because we've got three away goals as well. I'm not sure whether they count in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. But we're definitely in a solid position. So hopefully we can progress through to a cup final here. Although, is that... That's Doyle. He... He's moved in the January transfer window and is now lining up as captain against us in this game. Wowzers. I saw in the January transfer window that we'd sold him. I didn't realise it was to Brentford. Jeeps, talk about coming back to face your old club in a, in a big game. This is going to be interesting. Brentford could be in here down the right-hand side. It's Yanaris. Is he going to whip it in? He's got two men on him. He has managed to find a cross. Clayton Donaldson's going to go up. It's a good save from Long's comfortable save. The uh, the first effort from uh, Donaldson was quite tame, flicked onto the back post. That lad's actually gone down injured. Uh, I'm I'm tempted to kick it out to show a bit of fair play, but I think he's going to be all right. So we're going in at half time at nil nil. It's a good result so far for us as a whole in the uh, you know the whole grand scheme of things. Looking forward to progress to the final, but it's been such a dull game. I've been awful. I've misplaced passes. I've uh, not been able to uh, to get the right movement in, not been able to receive the ball as often as I'd like. I've been really, really bad. The uh, the team are doing okay. We're defending quite well. That was an absolute crunch from Judge that got him booked, in fact, if I didn't show you that replay or uh, that particular uh, match event. But 
see what I should. Oh, look, we haven't even created any chances. They've had three. We've not created anything or had much possession. So Brentford clearly on the front foot trying to get themselves back in this tie. But uh, they're going to need three goals at least in this second half alone to, uh, to stand any chance of progressing through to uh, the next round. So if we can pick up just one goal, then they would, that would pretty much guarantee us progression through to the, uh, the national final at Wembley. Try the through ball to Billy Painter. We've managed to get the, uh, the ball through to him. He's done well to hold off that many players. And the ball's going to break to Skoogal. What's he going to do? We're going to win a corner? No. Oh, he's dropped. Billy Payne. Oh, chance. We were fortunate the way that dropped to uh, to Billy there. And uh, we can't quite force it into the back of the net. But corner is going to come in. It's headed Billy's way. And he's not been able to win the header. Looks like Brentford are going to clear it. Now, can they catch us on the counter-attack? Here comes the change, Jefferson for Billy Painter, it's an, an expected change, because Billy's been so bad recently, his form has been absolutely awful for like two or three months, he's been terrible. Hopefully Big Jeff can do the difference, oh my god, Clayton Donaldson, that is a horrible challenge, definitely worthy of a yellow card, that's their second yellow for a second absolute crunching tackle, showed you judges one earlier. And that is, oh, it's right down the back of his Achilles tendon. That is an awful challenge. He's lucky to get away with a the yellow there. Lovely lob through ball to judge. It's fantastic. He's brought it down well as well. He's managed to square it. Can we get rid? Oh, it's not the best of clearances. And they've pulled one back in the 91st minute. It's not going to uh, change the tie at all, considering uh, they still need another two in stoppage time alone to go to extra time. But... I'm annoyed that uh, we've not been able to keep a clean seat in that one. It was a decent at attempted clearance header from Hill, but you'd, you'd have rather he just put that out for a corner than squaring it back across goal. But you'd expect the uh, the final whistle to go pretty soon, so I might just go for a bit of a solo run if I can, he says, as he passes the ball. There we go then, it's the final whistle. We've lost the game 1-0 on the night. As my guy, that is an awful smile. What is wrong with his face? Uh, <laughs> We're, uh, we win at 3-1 on aggregate overall, as you can see at the bottom of your screen right now. So we're through to the final at Wembley, the national final with the Johnson's Paint Trophy at Wembley. And also, potentially for tomorrow's episode, we might have some international football. I really don't know why we've been called up, like I say, to the, uh, to the England squad. We might only find ourselves on the bench, you would have thought, against Germany. Maybe we might get some sort of first team action against Paraguay. I'm not really too sure. But uh, what I actually forgot to do in the previous, or in between games, pardon me, was actually turn on the uh, the finesse shot trait. So what shall I turn off? Just turn, what was the other one? A skill dribbling, wasn't it? Let's turn off long throw traits. We don't we don't take any long throws. We'll put finesse shot on. Hopefully that can improve us for uh, for the next episode. But uh, that might include international football. It might not include international football. We'll have to wait and see. Germany first, then Paraguay. If not, we don't get played. Then we'll have Leighton Orient and Peterborough United in tomorrow's episode. But there will be another episode of this My Player series for you tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on it and that uh, you don't miss it in your sub boxes, etc. Feel free to leave this video a like as well if you did enjoy. Unfortunately, we weren't able to come out with a victory in either of the games, but we, uh, we have still regardless progress through to the final of one cup competition despite being knocked out by Barclays Premier League side West Ham in the FA Cup so uh, thank you very much for watching guys and uh, I will see you tomorrow